We're joined by Jackie Freeney. And uh, Jackie, thanks very much for your time. I know it's a bit of a whirlwind this morning, but we appreciate you uh, giving us a few minutes. How do you feel uh, stepping back onto Australia? No, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, what, what's the... Yeah, it's been, it's been great. Yeah, sorry, Jackie. What, how are you feeling? I mean, it's been a long flight. I, I presume you would have um, been thinking about your performances and everything. Uh, how are you feeling now that you're back? Yeah, I'm pretty tired, but luckily I got business class all the way here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can't wait to like meet heaps of people and maybe get sponsorship. So fingers crossed. Yeah, that is going to be an important uh, period for you coming up, isn't it? If you've you got um, plans in that regard to, to set yourself up as a professional athlete? Um, no, not really. I take it as it comes, but um, hopefully if all goes well and I get myself out there, something will happen. Why were you so successful? Um, well, eight years of hard training and dedication, passion for my sport, I think got me to the across the line. So I'm really thankful for my coach um, and dad, Michael Freeney, and also my granddad, that um, Mr. Peter Freeney, he coached um, Siobhan Payton to six gold medals, and he's really proud of me as a grandfather, watching his granddaughter swim. And what was the most important thing for your preparation then? Was it um, you know, technique, workload, um, inspiration? Uh, can you take us a little bit behind the scenes? I think uh, for me in London it was uh, maintaining focus and routine. Um, so basically one swim at a time, that's all I had to think about and whatever happened on the day, whoever competed the best on the day and pulled out the perfect race got the gold, so I just had to take it one at a time. Can you tell us why the team was so successful, Jackie? Have you been able to, um, to, to figure that out? Uh, why this great winning culture seemed to um, um, carry over onto all, all the different athletes in different sports? Um, no, basically we all support each other and I think that um, the team just gets together and backs each other up and we're all pretty friendly. I think we were known as the friendliest team in the village and um, everyone just like, loved the Australians and we all get, a, get behind each other and support each other. Lots being made about the, the Olympic swim team at the moment and they weren't quite prepared as, uh, as they could have been. Um, do you, do you make those comparisons and, and see how the Paralympic team has been able to do things better with your build up through the Cardiff home base and uh, just being able to um, emotionally be ready to perform your best at that, at that moment you need to? No, definitely, I think um, the Australian team, Australian Paralympic team's preparation was way better than the Olympic team's preparation and because we went to Cardiff for a two week training camp beforehand and I think that kind of got us in our in the mindset to compete um, on the London stage. So, and I just think um, our bonds are a lot stronger and uh, focus and dedication. And uh, sport and professional um, interests aside, what are, you, what are you looking forward to doing in the next couple of days and weeks? I'm actually going back to London in five hours because I've got a family holiday I oh, need wow. to be involved in. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a marathon. <laughs> wow, how did that all come about? <laughs> uh, well, basically I had to come back here for the team reception and yep. it's part of the team policy that um, I had to come back here. But basically I couldn't get out of it. So I'm going back to London for a well-deserved rest, I think. All right, well, I hope you got business class, maybe even first class on the way back over. See how good your negotiation is. I hope is. so. <laughs> <laughs> we, we loved watching you win those gold medals, um, Jackie, and uh, we'll watch you with interest from now on, no doubt about that. Thank you. Thank you.